Okay, let's continue. In this video, um, the plan is... The plan is... Don't go insane. That's a good plan. Another part of the plan is to start the process of loading the bitmaps the, and the sprites into our program and also to lay some of the basic framework that will be the structure of our programming here. So, first off, I like to load my bitmaps up at the top here. Um, another thing I like to have whoa, up at the top of my any program is just uh, like the name Space Pursuit version 1.01 .01 alpha and then a game by Daniel Hastings <laughs> copyright 2013 notes and then I always just fill in stuff that I want to remember to include and stuff like that which right now so early on don't worry about it so now I'm gonna load my bitmaps which if you remember the name of the command is load BMP and then you would do what you're going to call it in the program so say uh, the name of our main ship is going to be hero and then we have a comma and then where we can find it in the folders so starting from the folder that this basic file is saved in we go up into this folder folder sprites and then the name of the bitmap image is going to be here's what was it hero we have multiple versions let's say hero one is uh, let me look that up what did I call it I have a really really bad short term memory okay so we have Hero going to the left one, Hero L1. Oh, but well we're going to use the sprite. Uh, hero R1, sprite. Hero S0, sprite. And Hero... I have such a weird naming conventions. You should make your naming conventions better than my naming conventions, and then you will go far in life. Hero L1 sprite no 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 this is the name that we're using the program and I don't need the underscore sprite that's just a lot of typing I don't need to do hero l1 underscore sprite dot bmp is the name of the bitmap and then I'll do it for every single one and that's a lot of typing that you don't need to see um, under here I'm going to have define or dimension arrays and maybe define variables here too well we'll do that underneath here we'll do under here we'll do uh, some preliminary preliminary values for variables now um, I'm used to programming in things like Fortran, C++, pretty much any other programming language wants you to declare a variable before you use it. Just basic doesn't care. But I still kind of do it in a way anyway, just like when I decide I'm going to use a variable up at the top of the program, I'll give its initial value. So like say I have a variable named, I don't know squid. I couldn't think of anything. Um, and its initial value is 10. I'll just put that up at the top of the program. I'm going to delete this just so I don't forget it. Alright. And 
And so when I think of more variables, I will put them there. And then when I think of arrays, and there will certainly be a lot of arrays, I will put them here. And if you remember, it's dim, and then the name of the array, array name, um, and then a number. And if it's a two-dimensional array, it's a number, comma, another number. So that's that. can't think of any off the top of my head, that, but we'll come back to it. So the bottom of here we'll have timer 56 and I'll tell you why the number 56 comes into play and the reason is is that just basic has the CPU cycling at like 18 Hertz or something and any if you have the number any less than 56 milliseconds the program will sometimes crash. Sometimes. Just because it tries to use too much memory that it can handle. Something like that. But anyway, it's probably not a good idea when you have such a complicated program going less than 56. Um, and then we go to branch label main loop. And every 56 milliseconds we'll go to main loop. And I think that's good enough for government work. Let me think. What else do we need? What else can I put in for this video? Mm, Alright. We can add sprites. I think that is what I will do next video. For now I'm going to pause. Stay tuned for more awesomeness.